Welcome back. So let us solve a few more problems on beams by unit load method or virtual work method. So here let us look into the statement. Determine the deflection under the load point that is concentrated load acting at point C for the beam shown in figure. Take EI, the flexural rigidity is given in standard unit that is 2800 kN meter square. Use principle of virtual work or unit load method. So it is a simply supported beam of span 6 meters. So there is a concentrated load acting at point C. So 2 meters from point A and 4 meters from point B. So we need to find what is deflection at point C at the loaded point. So what is delta C? Okay. So what is the procedure to find the deflection under point load that is at point C by unit load method? So first we need to find the moment stored in this particular beam due to the external load whatever the applied load that is due to 90 kN that will be m that is capital m at a distance x so since it is a simply supported beam so i can consider a to c as one portion c to b as one more portion since the moment in both the portions will be different correct so cut a section here from a taking a as the origin at a distance x so cut a section here from point B, again B as the origin, then consider at a distance X a section and find what is the moment. Okay, that will be capital M. Okay, that is moment due to the external load. Okay, then again similarly, remove this external load and apply the unit load. Okay, 1 kN at the point where the deflection is required. So it is required to find the deflection at point C. So exactly at point C apply 1 kN. Then again same in the AC portion what is the moment and CB portion what is the moment. So that will be M X small m moment in the beam due to 1 kN. Okay. So integrate it within the limits 0 to L. So divide by EI. Okay. Into TX yes so this will be the equation used for finding the deflection at any particular point by unit load method so let us go through the problem step one to find the reactions to find the moment so first we need to find the reaction since it is unsymmetrical loading so you can take moment about b equal to zero or moment about a equal to zero either you can find what is the reaction at b or else reaction at a Suppose if I take moment about B equal to 0, so due to the reaction RA, moment about B is RA into 6, correct? So RA into 6, so due to this 90, moment about B is 90 into 4, so 90 into 4, anticlockwise minus, so equal to 0, you will be getting reaction RA as 60 kilonewton, okay? Similarly, if you apply sigma V equal to 0, that is sigma Y equal to 0, one more equilibrium condition, so RA upwards, RB upwards, this 90 downwards so plus ra plus rb minus 90 so ra plus rb equal to 90 so rb equal to so ultimately you are getting 30 kN. the section so ac as one portion cb as one more portion so in ac region okay so ra already you have found 60 kN. so 60 into x okay that will be the moment in ac portion so in cd or sorry cb portion the moment will be so rb into x so that is 30 into x that will be the moment correct so in ac region and in cb region the moments okay the limits in ac region 0 to 2 the limit for cb region that is 0 to 4 so just check it here so the second step to find the reactions again by applying 1 kN, removing the external load applying 1 kN. so if you apply 1 kN, so again you need to find what are the reactions so again take moment about b equal to 0 so ra dash into 6 minus 1 into 4 so you will be getting ra dash that is 2 by 3 kN. so if you apply sigma v equal to 0 you will be getting so rb dash as 1 by 3 kN. so 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 so at a section x from origin a so moment will be ra dash into x nothing but 2 by 3 into x so in cb region so rb dash into x nothing but 1 by 3 into x 
okay so if you put in the tabular column portion ac portion cb okay so in ac portion origin as a in cb portion origin as b limits 0 to 2 here it is 0 to 4 so capital m that is the moment due to the external load so the previous diagram so that is in ac region 60 into x in cb region 30 into x so ac region 60x cb region 30x correct small m due to unit load so that is two third of x in ac region so one third of x in cb region correct so again ei the flexural rigidity is constant so it is one one so it is constant so now apply unit load method the equation that is deflection is equal to 0 to l capital m into small m divided by ei into dx okay so for ac region this is for ac region and this is for bc region correct so ac region and bc region so capital m into small m divided by ei into dx capital m into small m in divided by ei into dx okay so do the integration within the limits then substitute the whatever the limits are there so ultimately you will be getting delta as 0 0.1142 meters okay after substitution of ei value so without substitution of ei you are getting it as 320 by ei so ei value is given in standard unit so that is 2800 so it will be 0.1142 meters so nothing but 114.28 mm okay so similarly one more problem this is again a simply supported beam but here there is a concentrated load and also there is a udl okay so the there are two different types of loadings so now here we need to be careful in selecting the portions regions okay so this is a different problem with respect to the previous problems whatever we have solved in case of beams because there is a concentrated load and also there is a udl and again if you see the statement use unit load method to find the deflection at the center of the beam shown in figure take angst modulus e is equal to 200 gpa and i is equal to 400 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 okay so e value is given and i value is given but they are not in standard units so first you need to convert them into standard units then you need to substitute what is the value of ei the product ei that is flexural rigidity so here to find the deflection at the center of the beam so where the center of the beam so entire span a to b is of 8 meters correct 2 meters 2 meters 4 meters so center means exactly from point a 4 meters from point b 4 meters means exactly at point d so we need to find what is delta d here in this problem we need to find delta d the deflection at point d so how to go ahead so yes the same procedure so due to the extra load what will be the moment in the members so regions in three different regions we need to find the moments because the moment in all the regions it is going to change okay one is ac region so one more is cd region and one more is bd region so here in this problem we need to be careful in selecting the portions so since the moment in all the regions is different so we can have three regions ac cd and bd total three portions or regions okay so due to the external loads due to 5 kN and due to udl of intensity 10 kN per meter what will be the moment in all the regions that will be your capital m and x at a distance x so the second step remove the external load and only point load correct that is 1 kN of intensity acting at point d where the deflection is required then again find what will be the moment in ac region cd region and bd region so that will be your 
small m x okay so then you know the unit load method equation so delta is equal to 0 to l capital m x into small m x divided by i into d x so ultimately that so only thing here is selecting the portions so here step one to find the reactions okay so point load is there and also udl is there okay so ac as one region so if we consider ac as one region so from a as the origin cut a section so in ac region a is the origin at a distance x okay so similarly cd as one more portion but consider the origin as a from a to this up to cd okay so section on the cd is considered at a distance x from point a origin as a only okay so if you find the moment for 5 kN you require this perpendicular distance how much is this perpendicular distance total from a to this section is x so from here to here it is 2 meters so we want only this what is that x minus 2 correct so this will be x minus 2 so similarly one more portion that is bd okay so in bd again you can have the region a uh, origin as point b from point b at a section x x x distance x okay so it is similar to the previous problems only in cd portion either i can have the a as the origin i can consider x or else i can have b as the origin again i can consider this as the x both will do okay so either you consider a as the origin cut a section in cd portion or else b as the origin cut a section in cd region so either consider origin as a or else origin as b here we have considered the origin as a in cd region also okay please be careful with this so due to the application of the external loads so the which are the external loads so 5 kN and 10 kN due to these loads so first find what are the reactions how will find the reactions using static equilibrium conditions so one is sigma m equal to zero correct so moment about any particular point equal to zero so here they have taken moment about a equal to zero so if you take moment about a equal to zero rb into this eight meters so this has to be rb not ra okay this is rb into eight meters minus due to this udl what is the moment about a 10 into 4 into 4 by 2 and from here to here distance is 4 okay total load is 10 into 4 where it will be acting acting at the center so what is this distance that is 4 by 2 that is 2 meters correct so from here to here it is already 4 meters 4 plus 2 it is 6 meters total so 10 into 4 into 4 by 2 plus 4 correct so due to this phi phi into 2 meters so about a moment perpendicular distance is 2 meters phi into 2 this must be equal to 0 so you are getting rb as 250 divided by 8 so ultimately 31.25 kilonewton rb you are getting 31.25 kilonewton similarly one more equilibrium condition that is sigma y equal to 0 or else sigma v equal to 0 if you apply so plus r a upwards plus r b upwards so 5 kN downwards so minus 5 then this total load 10 into 4 40 minus 40 so r a plus r b so minus 5 that right hand side plus 5 plus minus 40 is there so that side right hand side plus 40 so that is plus 10 into 4 so again you will be getting r a as 13.75 okay so you got what is ra you got what is rb so now in sections already known so in ac region what will be the moment only ra into x ra is 13.75 so 13.75 into x similarly what is the moment in cd portion so one is ra and one more is this concentrate load due to ra what is the moment about this section so ra into x so ra is 13.75 into x then this is rotating anti-clockwise so minus 5 into x minus 2 
this is the perpendicular distance that will be the moment in cd portion okay again what is the moment in bd portion so rb into x so what is rb so 31.25 so 31.25 into x will be the moment in bd so again while substitution of the were limits in ac portion it is 0 to 2 meters correct so cd portion i need not to consider 0 to 4 i need to consider so it is started from point 2 meters that is 2 meters up to this again 2 meters means 4 meters 2 to 4 i will be considering the limit for cd portion as starting at 2 meters up to it is 4 meters 2 to 4 so here this is 0 to 4 just check it here so see this tabular column portion ac portion cd portion bd okay so ac cd bd ac cd bd or db okay origin a origin a origin b so cd region also origin a correct so cd region origin is a so this is x then bd region it is b yes limits ac region 0 to 2 so now look carefully this so limit for cd region is 2 to 4 so that is from here up to here so here it is started with 2 meters they ended at 4 meters from point a it is 4 meters 2 to 4 okay then this is 0 to 4 correct so this is for external loading so again the moments calculate the moments 13.75x 13.75x in ac region ra into x so in cd region ra into x minus phi into x minus 2 correct so ra into x minus phi into x minus 2 ra is 13.75 into x minus phi into x minus 2 okay similarly bd region so that is this side so that is rb into x rb is 31.25 into x so again udl is there we forgot this udl yes since udl is there what is the moment about this that is rotating clockwise so minus 10 into x into x by 2 correct 10 into x into x by 2 10 into x into x by 2 minus so simplify this okay this is due to the external loading okay similarly we need to find the reactions and moments in all the portions by removing the external load and applying one kilonewton correct so if you apply one kilonewton about the point where the deflection is required where the deflection is required at point d okay so i can have only two portions okay that is ad and bd okay so in since in the ad region moment is constant in the bd region moment is constant but since we have considered portions three here so again we can have the three portions also here so if you consider ac cd and bd that is also will do the same thing okay so in ac portion and cd portion so if you consider the moment it will be constant by point a so for that reason so directly we have considered ad either in ac or cd the moment will be constant correct because ultimately the load is at point d so in the ad portion so the moment will be constant so for that reason ad or else if you want to write ac and ad and cd so separately separately also that will be do so in ac region what will be the moment so ra into x so since it is symmetrical loading the reactions will be 0.5 so again similarly here you can consider this as a x okay so 0 0.5 into x 0 0.5 into x directly ad so if you consider ac so suppose here is there point c is there here okay so from here to here x if you consider that is ra into x 0 0.5 into x again so from c to d again if you consider one more section here up to this so ra into x then again it will be 0.5 into x it will be constant correct so again in bd region it is rb into x that is 0.5 into x okay so now 
you need to apply unit load method equation that is delta is equal to 0 to L capital M into small m divided by E into dx. Okay, total three portions. So one is AC, correct? The portion check it. AC, CD, BD. AC, CD and this is PD. Okay, three portions. So in AC region, moment capital M is 13.75x the small m is 0.5x okay the what we have found is only in ad region so ad region is nothing but so it is including ac and cd correct so again in cd region moment capital m is 13.75 x minus 5 into x minus 2 and small m it is same that is 0.5x 0.5x okay so then in bd region capital m is 31.25 x minus 5x square the small m is 0.5 x okay so multiply this take the x terms only inside for the integration so integrate with respect to dx so ultimately you will be getting after substitution of your limits so at the end you will be getting this value that is 303.32 by ei 303.32 by ei just check this integration so there will not be any difficulties again you are integrating with respect to only x x square x cube something like that so it will be x square x raised to 3 by 3 x raised to 4 x raised to 5 by 5 something like this so check with this integration so at the end the delta you are getting 303.32 by ei okay so here the ei value is given so that is Engs modulus it is 200 GPA so what is that 200 GPA 200 gigapascal so E is given as 200 GPA yes okay so nothing but gigapascal nothing but 200 into giga means 10 raised to 9 pascal is Newton per meter square 200 into 10 raised to 9 Newton per meter square. So convert this into standard unit. E should be in always kilo Newton per meter square. Okay. So 200 into 10 raised to 9 Newton per meter square. So convert into kilo Newton. So 10 raised to 3 divided by 10 raised to 3. So you will be getting 200 into 10 raised to 6 Newton kilo Newton per meter square. Similarly, uh, I is given 400 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. So convert that into meter raised to 4. Okay. So once you find that uh, the substitution EI, so that will be uh, 8 into 10 raised to 4 kilonewton meter square. Okay. So in standard unit, it will be 8 into 10 raised to 4 kilonewton meter square. So if you substitute the EI value for this, so 303.32 divided by EI, that is nothing but 0 0.00379 meters or 3.79 mm. Okay, so please check this conversion again. So substitute the value and at the end you will be getting so 3.79 mm. That is the uh, deflection for point D that is exactly at the center for the problem so just check it once again so here in this problem what is the difficulty so we need to have three portions three regions okay AC CD and BD so due to the application of external load the moment in all the regions will be different for that reason we need to have three separate regions okay so once you find the uh, moment in all the regions then remove the load and apply unit load in the again unit load so you can consider directly as ad as one region because in ac and cd the moment ultimately it will be same so ultimately you will be using 0.5x only so or else split and again find it like previous the same thing okay so this is the way how we need to solve the problem please go through this integration part
okay so it is just integration with respect to dx only x term is there so you can integrate it okay so at the end you are getting the deflection as 3.79 mm okay so let us stop it here this is with respect to beam problems so in next uh, class we'll solve the problems on frames and trusses okay thank you